I'm Mylita Melton, president of Speakeasy Communication and author of the Speakeasy Spanish series. One of my books is Survival Spanish for Pharmacists. Our company is a Spanish language training and publishing company based near Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, and it doesn't matter where you are. Um, in any state in the Union, a small town or a large town, I can guarantee you if it isn't already, your town is going to be impacted by a growing Hispanic population. Right now it's over 56 million people in the United States. It's, it's also important because diabetes, type 2 diabetes within the Latino community is of epidemic proportions and it's growing. So you can't talk to someone who is Latino or Hispanic unless either they are diabetic or have someone in their family or they know someone. And that type 2 diabetes is, I mean, think about all of the different things that a diabetic patient needs from the pharmacy. And the first one that I would think would be habla más despacio. And even without the word despacio, if I looked at you and I went like that, chances are you would realize you were speaking too fast for me. For most of us who are native English speakers, Spanish sounds really rápido, and for sure it is, in words per minute. And when you say más despacio, you're saying slow down, speak more slowly. Just throw it out the window. You, would, you probably could understand how many people come to a seminar like this one at the NCPA and they've had high school Spanish or they've had high school French and they thought they were just terrible at it and they think or they've convinced themselves that they can't speak Spanish at all. If you know a word of Spanish, if you can say the English word and you know something as simple as thank you and you can pair those two together, thank you for your money, gracias, and then watch the smile light up. Only a few words like that will put your Latino customer at ease and greet these people and be friendly and never hesitate to shake hands. When you as the pharmacist come down off, of, you know, sometimes it's like you're on a pedestal, that the pharmacy counter is higher when back in the back where you're dispensing the medication than it is anywhere else. But if you take a minute and just take the barrier from between you and just come outside and greet them and thank them for their business, English or Spanish or not, then you've got someone that is very impressed by your willingness to help. If there is a bilingual receptionist or even someone in billing that is Latino or Latina, the word gets around in the neighborhood and pretty soon you get these referrals coming in that is going to you know, increase your business exponentially. And once you attract them and show that you are friendly, you build up a relationship with them. And when you have that relationship upon which this individual can trust you, they are more likely to follow their drug regimen as prescribed by the doctor than they are if they feel like you're a stranger. Please visit us at drugtopics.com, join us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.